Revolution. The prefect of the Doctrine of the Faith's first media appearance generated a lot of buzz in Rome. Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez was scheduled to speak about the new document on human dignity. But ultimately, a variety of topics were raised. For example, the cardinal was asked about the passage in the Catechism, where tradition says that sexual relations between people of the same sex are intrinsically disordered acts. We might be able to find an expression that is even clearer to better understand what we're trying to say. But what we want to say is that there is tremendous beauty that comes from the meeting between a man and a woman. That is, the greatest difference in the world. The fact that they can meet each other, be together, and have such an intimate relationship. Faced with this reality, homosexual acts have this characteristic that cannot even from a distance reflect this immense beauty. Pope Francis's remarks on hell were addressed as well. In January, during an interview with an Italian TV station, the Pope said he hoped it was empty. And the prefect of the Doctrine of the Faith reflected on this. La, la. The statement about the possibility of being sent to hell is primarily because it takes into account human freedom, that human beings can choose, and that God wants to respect that freedom, even if it is limited, and sometimes it is a darkened, sick freedom. But God wants to respect it, and that is the point. But then the question Pope Francis is asking is that, with all the limitations our freedom has, won't hell be empty? Cardinal Fernandez was appointed Prefect of the Doctrine of the Faith in mid-2023, and his appointment has been the most controversial of Francis's pontificate. Two of the books the Cardinal published more than 20 years ago have been considered blasphemous and scandalous by certain circles. And the document he published at the Pope's request on the blessing of same-sex couples has generated the most varied reactions in Francis's pontificate. During this conference, the Cardinal responded specifically to the criticism that came from within the church hierarchy. Some bishops, even cardinals who treat the Pope as a heretic, who say that what Francis is saying is against the tradition of the church, seem to have not taken this oath of fidelity. Before being elected prefect, Cardinal Fernandez had already worked closely with Pope Francis on a number of documents, such as Evangelii Gaudium. He shares the Pope's vision of a more missionary church. And with Francis's election to the papacy, the Cardinal has said he wanted to implement a more pastoral and less harsh approach in the dicastery.